In this demo, I'm going to outline the differences between number boxes and message boxes. So number boxes and message boxes, they're both on the put menu. And a uh, number is a command three for a keyboard shortcut. And message is a command two. Now, so far in all the tutorials, we have used number boxes. And I've got a short demonstration here again of the basic type of number box to oscillator to DAC object pattern that we've seen uh, so many times before. And so number boxes do a lot of things very well. It's great that I can put them into run mode and I can kind of click and drag them to uh, get a number in there and feed it into oscillator. And I can do that in real time as the program is running which is great. The only thing is, is uh, I can't, I can't put it into edit mode and edit a number in a number box. I have to actually only edit it in, in run mode by actually clicking and dragging on it or by feeding something else into it from another object somewhere else. So instead of a number box there, I'm going to show you the difference uh, with what a message box does. So if I can just put in a message box, that's one, and I can type in a number, and I can feed it in to the inlet of the oscillator there, and I'll put it into run mode. Now the first big difference with the uh, message boxes is, is that they're clickable in run mode. So at any stage, if I want to fire off that message to output its message into the object that it's connected to, I can just click on it and that will run it. And uh, The other thing about them is, is that they're editable in edit mode, so I can go back in there and edit them. Because these number boxes, they're clickable, it opens up a whole new way of interacting with uh, my patch. So if I add in two more message boxes there, and I can put in different values in each of them. And feed them all into the inlet of the oscillator, run the patch, then it becomes very easy just to be a very clickable type of interface that I can click between them. The last point to make about message boxes, although it doesn't apply to this particular example, is the types of messages that you can send out from a message box. In this example it's numbers, but we can put in text in there as well, any kind of string, and we can output that as well, again by this very same way of just clicking on the message box. And that's an introduction to message boxes and pure data.